Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a live sale preview haul for you for my upcoming sale on Saturday, June 12th at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to quickly go through the items that I will have available for sale. Also want to mention that I um, will have some items from previous sales that did not sell. I'll be bringing those forward. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I go live for my sales and when I put out new content. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment and share. <laughs> I think that covers everything. So I'm going to dive in and show this beautiful bird. Now, I thought this was kind of a wall hanging, but I'm not so sure. It's got little <laughs> bits on the bottom. So I think it is just kind of a, a flat figurine, although it does have a hole down here. I'm not sure how to display this, but it is cool. And those birds are fantastic. I have got a ginger jar. Look at those beautiful purple orchids on there. And then I think those are supposed to be, well, I'm not sure. I thought they were cherry blossoms, but now I'm not sure. And then there's some more on top here. And this is a Toyo Japan. It's called Black Orchid. I did just see that on the bottom. And I've got a bird planter. Look at that green and yellow. Isn't that fantastic? It's not marked on the bottom. And I've got this fantastic little creamer or a little personal pitcher, however you'd like to use it. It is a little larger than your average creamer. And this is in Arco, Japan. I've got this fantastic alabaster little hinged trinket box. Isn't that gorgeous? The colors. It's got remnants of a sticker. So that would be Italian alabaster. I've got a fancy box here for a beautiful pin. Isn't that great? And then it does say on the back, that says, yep, Monet. And for another piece of jewelry, I've got these little gals on this pin. So let me show you how they are displayed. Look at that. They're like little nesting dolls, but instead they've got the little hooks and they are on this great little pin to be worn, I guess, like a brooch. And then I've got a lot that I will be doing that has um, some necklaces all together. So this is a multi-strand. And then I've got this one. So these three will be sold together. Unless you tell me otherwise in the comments, if you'd like them separate. I've got this cat, like a Christmas ornament possibly, made out of wood, very nicely painted. Has like little, um, some kind of a glass or something um, for the eyes. I've got this all by himself looking, I think for someone to hug this little dragon. Um, salt or pepper shaker. I've got this guy. He's also a single salt or pepper shaker. Little squirrel marked Japan. I've got this little duck figurine. I've got a couple of frogs. This one I think is a, well, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's got his hand on his head and his tongue out. 
Maybe frogs do that. I don't know. <laughs> I've got a dog, little German Shepherd, chewing on a slipper, and he is a sandy cast. I've got another standalone salt or pepper shaker. It's got its cork. It's marked Japan, like a little syrup dispenser. I've got this little cat thing, like um, maybe a business card holder. Some great uh, Bettina there. I've got this little pixie. Now he's in rough condition, I will say, or maybe he's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. I think he's got remnants of Japan there on the bottom. So I'm not sure if he's kind of supposed to be splotchy painted like that, but kind of works. This, it, it is, I think, um, signed by someone. And it's these cute little mushroom figurine. And I've got a little turtle, little ceramic turtle. Isn't he cute? And a fish, not to be outdone. Now this, to me, kind of looks like a Tonala style, but he's got metal, like brass, on the outside of him. So that's a new one. I don't think I have seen a little ceramic figurine kind of in that Tonala style that has a metal kind of coating on it. But isn't he cool? I've got a larger cat figurine. Isn't he neat? He's not marked, so I don't know where he's made, but he is a little larger. Really cool. And I've got a Fenton bird. Beautiful rainbow opalescence on that. And it is hand painted with these gorgeous pink flowers. Aren't those just amazing? Here is the bottom with the Fenton stickers and the signature of the person that painted it. But oh my goodness, look at those eyes. Aren't they just gorgeous? And then, oh yes, one more little cat item over here. Oh, let me get that little, let me get the back in there so I don't poke myself. This is a little pin and we've got the cat trying to get into the little fish bowl. Isn't that great? The fish even has little bubbles coming up. It's just a fantastic little, I was trying to see if it's signed. I don't think so. Okay, and another little planter. Love this little, um, I guess he's, well, he doesn't have wings, so I'm not quite sure if he's a little cherub or cupid or not, but he is a planter. Isn't he great? Okay, over to this side. I've got this little Boyd's bear, and I grabbed this one with summer coming up. We've got strawberries and little strawberries on the cap of this cute little bear. And I'm trying to see, this is copyrighted 1988 to 2002. So I would think this probably came out in 2002. It's got all of its tags still on it. And this is, oh, Alice B. Patchberry is the name on that. And then I've got this large multi-cat figurine. Now, this looks like it's a music box that no longer has its little key. Um, but it is such a fantastic figurine on its own. Three kittens playing and sleeping. Two tabbies and one gray cat. Aren't they just adorable? And I've got Waltzgraf Winterberry. 
So this one is, I think, an older piece because it is made in the USA. Fantastic serving piece. Okay, I've got a couple cups and saucers. There is this beautiful one. Again, great for summertime, so bright and cheery. And look at the ruffled edge, even on the cup. Isn't that gorgeous? Now this is Radford Bone China made in England. Just love the bright colors on that. And I've got another one with violets, beautiful purple violets. And this is um, Old Royal Bone China, England. Gorgeous pattern. And I have got this fantastic storage box. Now, I think this is possibly a painted paper mache box. And it's got this great cat. Now, not 100%. I do want to let you know that there are a couple of spots here. Ooh, I think I let loose a little dust. <laughs> so want to point those out in case you're looking specifically at that. And I'm going to give you a clown warning. So turn away if you do not like clowns. These ones are pretty cute though. So here come the clowns. I've got this fantastic pair of clown figurines. Now they are ceramic and a fabric and yarn mix. Aren't they great? They've even got the little ruffles around. Oh, those are terrific. Okay, the clowns are gone. I've got this beautiful olive green glass compote. Look at that beautiful pattern. And it does feel, it. I will say the bottom has a little bit of roughness on the edge because I just don't think it was polished really well. But the top here is in wonderful condition. I love that. And then I've got, need to wash these up a little better. So here is a beautiful pink glass, three pedestal bowl, three footed pedestal bowl, sits up nicely. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and another pair of salt and pepper shakers. These are fun. They're like little cookbooks. You've got the rooster on them. They've got their corks. One of them still has the Japan sticker on it. And another planter. Love the bird on berries on this one. Oh, it is so beautiful. Here is the inside and it looks to be in really good condition. I don't see a mark on the bottom as to who made it, but I'll try to do a little research and see if I can find who made that one. Okay, moving on to make some room here. A couple more items. I'm just making a little room. So I kind of have the last of my uh, three pack of very vintage uh, sheet music. This one I think is kind of the funniest one of all, <laughs> the alcoholic blues. And we've got an owl that's uh, looking like he's seen some blues. Now these are in, I will say, a little rougher condition because they are old. You can see we've got a little missing here and this one's actually in two pieces. This is from 19, I think this is 1919. And then on the back, we've also got some great art. That's wonderful for display. 
And then this one is honey. And I do believe this is taped here. And this is from 1925, 28. And it also comes with blue Hawaii. Look how great she is. And some more back art. And then the last one also had uh, been taped. Oh no, there's four in this one. Okay, this is a bonus. This one, you get four of them. So this is the preacher and the bear. So, uh-oh, preacher stuck up in a tree. <laughs> and that one is from, um, oh gosh, that looks like 1904. Copyright transferred 1905 is what that looks like on there. So that one is quite old. And then the last one, this one is great. Live wire rag. <laughs> Look at the outfits these guys are wearing. Oh my goodness. Now this one is not copyrighted. And it does continue on to the back. So yeah, so that is a bonus four. But those are the last four of this batch that I have. And then I've got this. Now she is the doll of the world. The box is in, I will say rough condition and her head is, I will do this so you can see it is coming apart. But her dress, I'll get a closer look on it. Her dress seems to be in really good condition though. And she does have, get her head back on there, a note in there that this was from Aunt Camille. Okay, I've got a Jamar Creations. This is Bartholomew. And here he is. And he does come with his certificate that says that he is 100% German mohair. And he is jointed, he does move, so he would be a great little shelf sitter. You could move him and he could sit if you wanted to, or he could stand on your shelf. And I've got this book. Now this is great. But kind of Victorian children. It's got the ribbon here. And on the inside, it's going to have all of these great little pictures and a little card that came with it. But this would be so great, again, if you wanted to keep it or if you wanted to take it apart and use these pages for your junk journaling. Aren't they gorgeous? So that's just a wonderful little selection in there. Again, great as is, but also fantastic if you wanted to repurpose that. This is Hotspot. This is a stationary box. And this is by Pratt and Austin. And look at this fantastic stationary. Oops. <laughs> look at it all come out of the box. Isn't that gorgeous? Now the other pages I will say are a little whiter this top one, I think, just was exposed a bit. Comes with a bunch, but the envelopes, I think, are just plain. Yeah, so the envelopes are just plain white, and then you get several sheets in here of this fantastic paper. I've got this DeGrazia. This is mounted on board and then lacquered over it, dated 1980. It's from Scottsdale. You can see it's got the slot for hanging. I just love all the bright colors. These are always so cheery. And I've got a lot of hankies. 
So this one is orange. We've got the blue flower, yellow, pink, and then this beautiful plain lace one. So that's a set of hankies. This is, let me get this undone here. Oh, so these I think are two little guest towels. So we've got like the little gentleman here and I think he's got, he's picking flowers. So it's like a little scene. It's like he's walking and then I think he's picking flowers. And then in this one, oops, the other side, we've got a little gal, I think kind of doing the same thing. So that's a really fun little set of uh, tea towels. I've got this set, which is just a couple of napkins. Again, great for using, but great for crafting with. And this set is just one of each, but I threw them together because this one is like an embroidered doily. And then this one is kind of like a doily also that is stitched, like an em embroidery type stitch on it. And then for the last item I'm going to show you, um, let me get this open. So this is a fantastic tablecloth. This is a round tablecloth that is all embroidered and it's got this beautiful lace. Isn't that just incredible? Look at that. Here is the other side. I'll just undo it that much. And if that's not enough, we've got these little circular. Now I'm not sure if these were supposed to be really fancy napkins. One, two, three, four. There are four of them. They're all stitched the same way. They've got the same lace. Isn't that a fantastic set? So that is everything. Going to be a great sale with all of these fun items. Again, that is um, Saturday. Um, <laughs> I forgot. June 12th. There we go. Saturday, June 12th, uh, 10 p.m. Um, hopefully that's what I said at the beginning of the video. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I get going and then I can't remember what I said. So anyway, I will have it in the description below correctly. <laughs> but yes, this is for my Saturday sale, June 12th at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. At least I can laugh about it. And I hope to see you there. I hope to see me there too. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And uh, I hope to see you at my sale.